Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Everybody, guys, week nine of the WBE. The Minnesota Viking Volts are taking on the Toronto Maple Muse and Coach Sierra Dawn in an epic week nine showdown. If you guys are hyped for this battle, be sure to hit that like button down below. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new. YouTube tells me that over 50% of you guys are actually not subscribed to the channel. So let's change that. Make sure you guys subscribe, of course. For those who do not see the team builder, it is in the description below where I break down the entire team in its fullness and everything we got going on here. And I gotta let you guys know I am in the middle of moving. I am actually. Like, this is the last battle I will record in this office. Next battle will be in my new house. So, things are a little crazy right now. I did not have as much time to prepare as I normally would. Didn't really have a ton of time to just do anything. But, the beauty is, if we can pick up a W today, we actually will clinch playoffs and we don't have to stress. If we lose, things are gonna get a little sketchy coming down the stretch. But we're gonna have some fun with it either way. I've got a really cool team this week, and I just hope I don't see that regular wheezing because neutralizing gas is very annoying. But look for this turtle to put in some work. I'm gonna get connected with Sierra. We're gonna throw down in this battle and hopefully pick up a W and ultimately move to the playoffs, baby. All right, guys, we are connected. Let's see which six Pokemon Sierra is gonna be bringing this week. It is gonna be, okay, no wheezing. Bisharp though, um, okay. A lot of the stuff that I expected, uh, no wheezing. We see Bisharp, which is fine. And then we got Blastoise. So Cinderace, Talonflame, Dracozole, Clefairy, Blastoise, Bisharp. Okay, um, I think my my play here is just Togekiss, uh, Blastoise lead, Rhyperior, Bronzong in the back. We'll go Trick Room. Um, we'll bring Hailcore second game. Uh, lead Blastoise could be annoying in this scenario. That would be probably the the one situation where I'd be a little bit frustrated is like lead Blastoise. I can't deal with it. It's just a little bit more annoying than normal. But I'm gonna go Togekiss, Blastoise, Rhyperior, Bronzong. That's what I'm locking in. Um, as I indicated in the in the team preview or like the pregame press conference, uh, because of the move, I've just been really busy. I did sneak in a couple practice matches before this game, which was nice. Uh, when I filmed the t the pregame, I did not yet. Um, and I made some tweaks, but uh, this week has just been, it's just been crazy, dude. It's been crazy. But this matchup is going to, uh, it's going to come down to a couple things. Like Rhyperior, I feel like is so good in this game, right? Especially if I can get rid of, like, once Blastoise is gone, like nothing on Sierra's team really wants to do with Rhyperior. Uh, so that's something worth noting there. Um, if I can get rid of Blastoise or have Trick Room up and allow Rhyperior to go for Max Quakes. I am running Lightning Rod Rhyperior this week not solid rock. So the objective there is really to kind of throw that Dracozole off off its game plan. And since she does not have Weezing, I can effectively use my Hail. So hopefully she'll lead like Clefairy Dracozole game one. That would probably be my best case scenario. Um, or like Clefairy plus like Cinderace or something, because I can kind of deal with that relatively well with my lead. Um, let's see what she's going to bring. Um, it's going to be Clefairy Blastoise. Okay, so this is a lead that I, I did definitely anticipate um i'm thinking what i'm gonna do here is i'm just gonna dazzling gleam shell smash it could be like a specs blastoise or something like that but i think it's still my best play i also have the thunder wave option but she most likely is gonna try to shell smash herself so let's just dazzling gleam because there is some chip damage potential there and then let's just shell smash uh i could see like a follow me uh there could be a fake out as well on the blastoise i had my original plan in this match actually was to have fake out myself but I do not. So, Blastoise Clefairy is the lead. Um, which is, like I said, probably one of the more daunting leads. This this lead is... I have a really good matchup with Sand Slash Ninetales. So, I should have probably led that. I think if I led Sand Slash Ninetales, it would have been in good shape. But, uh, here comes the Shell Smash from the Blastoise. The Clefairy actually does not... Um, does not go for Follow Me. So, we'll see what this Clefairy is going to do. A uh, little concerned. It might Moon Blast or something. Let's see. There's the white herb on the Blastoise. So, uh, the good news is I get a Dazzling Gleam off. That's gonna chip away the Blastoise. Reduce its uh, crit on the Clefairy too. And I'm gonna Shell Smash myself. So what is this Clefairy gonna do? Is it gonna go for a Blind Sing? That would be really annoying if it went for Sing. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've got the white herb, so that's fine. And let's see here. I'm so scared what this Clefairy wants to do. Sing and hits it. Oh! The one thing I was like, do not do, and she hits the sing. I, ah, uh, that's frustrating. That is very frustrating. Okay, so here's what I gotta do. Um, I really need to hit that Blastoise, um, cause that thing's gonna be a problem, dude. So let's Dazzling Gleam, and let us go for the, let's go for the Spout. I mean, the reality of it is, if she, if she, you know, maxes 
with this Blastoise, I'm going to be taking a lot of damage on my team. And there's not a whole lot I can do at this point. That Sing was crippling. That Sing was very crippling. So, I do have the Thunder Wave on Togekiss, but I didn't go for it thinking there could be a follow me there. So, good play on her part. But Sing is a it's a 50% accurate move, right? Like, I know I hit some blind hypnosis, but that's uh, rough. Here comes the Water Spout. So, that chip damage was actually really big. Because it is going to, um, you know, make it so these Water Spouts are not going to do as much. And if I could wake up on the following turn, we might be okay. A crit Dazzling Gleam would be nice on the Blastoise here just to get some extra damage. I do have Super Luck. And she's going to go for a second Sing and miss. Okay. So, we're going to Dazzling Gleam again. And then I'm actually going to Dark Pulse the Blastoise. Um, perhaps me going for... Yeah, I mean... This is a little tricky, but... Here comes the Helping Hand. So, she's going to Helping Hand Water Spout here. Um, but we got a little bit of extra damage off. Here comes the Water Spout. Helping Hand Water Spout. So, we see Sing Helping Hand. Um, if I can wake up here, that would be huge. We can actually pull this back if I can wake up. I do not wake up. Okay, well, Blastoise KOs Togekiss with, um, Water Spout. Okay, um, I gotta go Zong and I gotta Trick Room. That's what we gotta do. Gotta go Zong, gotta Trick Room. Alright, so we're not out of it yet. If she has After You, then that's problematic, but she could go for Sing here, which is why this is, like, really, really rough. We're gonna Trick Room, and then I think I, I think I Dark Pulse the Blastoise and hope for the best. Um, yeah, I think that's what I do. Not the ideal situation for us. I mean, that sing is going to really put us in a bad, bad spot. Here comes the water spout. She's probably going to sing and try to stop the the Zong here with a sing. Blastoise, KOs, Blastoise with water spout. And just miss. Okay, I get Trick Room up at least. At the very least, I get Trick Room up. Okay. Now, we are in a scenario now where we can pull this back. We're not out of it yet. We are not out of it yet. If she does not have after you, we're not out of this. If she has after you, then I, I lose right now. But at least we'll find out, right? So, we're going to bulldoze. And we're going to earthquake. And that should pick up the KOs that we need. I'm not going to max because I need to be able to spread. If she has after you, then good prep. I, I feel like she probably has it. But we'll see. So, after, after you or after me or whatever the move is called would allow the Blastoise to attack first in this scenario. So... If she does not have it, we can pull this back, though. Because I could pick up a double KO here with uh, Bulldoze Earthquake. I assume that's going to be enough. And then we basically... I mean, she hasn't used her max yet, either. It's follow me. That's fine. Okay. If I could pick up a double KO here, this would be massive. Bulldoze. And then Earthquake should snag a double KO. Because that's a very fast Blastoise. I know this is a very fast Blastoise. So... Hopefully, Rhyperior picks up a double KO here. I forgot that neither of us maxed yet. That's funny. All right. This should get the, the Blastoise. Earthquake. We are Levitate Zong, which is good. And hopefully, we can get this double KO here under Trick Room. Friend Guard does protect the Blastoise, but we do pick it up. So, Rhyperior KOs Blastoise with EQ. Rhyperior KOs Clefairy. With EQ. Okay, so I feel like Cinderace, Talonflame, Cinderace, Bisharp, something like that is in the back. It's Cinderace and what? Talonflame? Bisharp. Okay, so to me, I think I think the play here is who do I get rid of, right? I think we get rid of the Bisharp first. Or do I just clear the Cinderace, which is most likely the, the Dynamax threat here? I think I Psychic into the Cinderace. And I Dynamax, Max Quake the Bisharp, and just get rid of the Bisharp here before it can attack me. Because I can take one hit from the Cinderace anyway, and then knock it out in the following turn, depending on what type it is. So let's do that. I think she maxes the Cinderace. That way I don't have to... Yeah, I mean, she could have some shenanigans. I don't know, Ally Switch, who knows what, on the Cinderace. I, I believe she did run, like, Ally Switch Cinderace. So we're going to max first. I think I KO Bisharp even even with, right? I think attacking the Bisharp was the right play here. Um, and I do think at plus two, I probably KO Bisharp. Because Bisharp, even Dynamax, isn't going to want to take this. Yeah, it looks like we would KO it unless it's bulky. And she's just going to protect the Cinderace. Uh, that's going to turn it into a normal type. She does not Dynamax here. And the Bisharp seemingly is doing nothing. 
Sucker Punch, that's fine. We see Sucker Punch, and I should pick up the KO here. Critical hit, that's fine. Max Quake. So Rhyperior should KO this uh, Bisharp. Unless it's Sash. It is Sash, okay. That's fine though, I have Bulldoze, so I'm not really super concerned about that. We see Sash, and we see um, Sucker Punch. Okay, it gives me a special defense boost. So now, I think I definitely max, um, I definitely Bulldoze, because that'll pick up the Bisharp, right? We don't have to worry about that. And then, I think the play here is Max Quake the Cinderace. Yeah, I think that's 100% the play. Max Quake the Cinderace. Yeah, because it's a fire type. Uh, it's a normal type now, actually, but that's okay. So she's definitely going to Dynamax here. This is close. This is close. That's Sash Bisharp. All right, she she maxes the uh, the Cinderace. Which is fine. I still have one more turn of Trick Room. And I still have two Pokemon. Does she Sucker Punch the Bronzong here, though? That would be a really good play. Now she goes into Rhyperior. That works out really well for me. Zong's going to pick up the KO. Rhyperior. Let's see how much this does. Eliminated, dude. Let's go. Cinderace with Max Quake. And Bronzong. KO's Bisharp with Bulldoze. Okay. What a comeback, dude. That was a game where we were very far behind at the beginning, but we were able to pull it back. So shout outs to that. Take that W. Nice 2-0 win there. Uh, we can head into game two uh, feeling really good about that strategy. Um, that was big. That was a big win for us. And knowing that plus two Rhyperior does indeed beat the, um, you know, does indeed beat the Cinderace Slate game is really good. So I don't see why I don't do the same thing, right? Um, or something very similar. I think we can do the hail lead this time. I think we can do a hail lead this time. And try to, uh, you know, try to win with, with Rhyperior in the back. Or just, like, poke holes with Sand Slash, right? I don't know if she's going to do that same lead. She very well could. Um, so I'm not positive here what, what we're going to see. Um, what do I th I mean, I, I feel like my Trick Room mode in the back is so strong, right? So let's do Sand Slash, Nine Tails, Rhyperior, Bronzong. Oh, that's really good. I mean, she obviously could lead with, like, Talonflame, you know, something. But... I can hit the Talon Flame, and it's going to go down eventually anyway. And I can potentially set up a, uh, an Aurora Veil, which basically means Rhyperior goes in, right? So, this lead is also really good against the Blastoise, or at least better against the Blastoise. So, Rhyperior put in a ton of work there at the end game. That was big, right? Like, we were very far behind after that Sing. Uh, that Sing really put us in a, in a rough spot early game. Uh, but luckily for us, like I said, Rhyperior and Trick Room was really strong there. And if she, I mean, she was one sing away from winning that game, right? She hits a second sing on Bronzong and we're down. But, um, you know, that's that's just sing for you, right? It's such a high risk, high high reward uh, maneuver. So we did see Protect on Cinderace as well. And um, we saw Bisharp had Sucker Punch. It was Sash Bisharp, which I'm surprised with me having Hail that she would bring Sash Bisharp. As well as me having um, Cannonade, right? Like G-Max Cannonade makes that interesting. But... I'm very curious, does the Drake Azult come? I, I feel like I have such a good matchup against Drake Azult. So, and Rhyperior is just so strong in this match. Like, once Blastoise is gone, Rhyperior goes in. So, yeah. All right. Um, so, here's the thing. Like, does she lead Clefairy Blastoise again? Does she try that same strategy and hope for the best this time? Or is she going to try something different this time? That's a very interesting question. So, and my Sand Slash is equipped to deal with that thing. She could go like Talonflame Cinderace too, switch it up. Clefairy Blastoise, she does the same thing. Okay, so I feel way better equipped here. Now the question is, if I go for the Max Ooze here, right? If I go for Max Ooze, um, how much am I doing to this thing, right? Like, I'm doing like 40%, and then what is Ninetales doing at plus one? Um... What is Ninetales doing to Blastoise at plus one with Freeze Dry? Because we're Freeze Dry. Nope, not Freeze Shock. Freeze Dry. We're doing like 75%, right? So that's actually kind of dope. We can deal massive damage there. So I'm actually thinking we can click Dynamax. I'm going to go for the Max Ooze play into the Clefairy. And I'm going to go for the Blizzard, I think. 
And then the following turn, we're gonna go for the uh, freeze dry into the Blastoise. So we're gonna just max Sand Slash right out the gates. I normally put Nine Tails first. I was very confused there. And the reason why I'm doing this is because my Sand Slash is Assault Vest, so it's actually relatively equipped to deal with this scenario here. And um, I feel confident with the fact that I, I could potentially get an Aurora Veil up in this match still. Let's see if she does go for the Follow Me this time. She does go for the Follow Me this time, so that also helps us stop sh seeing shenanigans. So let's see how this plays out. So I'm gonna get a big Max Ooze off here. And I'm thinking that in her mind, the target is, is almost always going to be the Nine Tails, right? Does she smash? I wonder if she'll smash too this time. She might shell, if she doesn't shell, shell smash, then the Blastoise isn't really dealing that much damage here either. And I get a Blizzard off. This is a plus one Blizzard now. And I believe this picks up the Clefairy. And it does with Hail. That was exactly what we planned for. And she does smash, okay. So that worked out very well. So Nine Tails, KOs, Clefairy with Hail. Okay, that worked out as planned. So now the Blastoise is really fast, but you know, we did get some chip damage off on it. And um, I have Nine Tails sitting here with freeze dry potential, which does pick up the Blastoise at this point. She can no longer redirect my attack. And Sand Slash is sitting at full. I could set up a Veil for the late game, but I think at this point we just go after the Blastoise. Uh, we'll see what comes in next, because obviously it's going to be Bisharp, right? So Bisharp might be trying to do some shenanigans here, but to me, I just quake the... To me, I quake the Bisharp and freeze dry the Blastoise. That feels like a really solid play. Because I'm going to be... I mean, the Blastoise will go first, right? She's going to max it. Okay. But... Oh, you know what? I, I see the play here. She's going to max it, go for max geyser, change the weather, slow me down, and then try to knock me out. So good plays. Uh, this might actually end up working really well for her if she changes the weather. This might actually end up being really, really good. We'll see if she doubles the sand slash or what the, the play in the sand slash is here. So here comes the geyser. I'm assuming it's in a slash. It's going to be in a slash, but we're AV, so we're going to tank it pretty well. Um, which is fine. And that's fine. And I'm still going to get a freeze dry off. Good chunk of damage to Blastoise. And I'm going to get a Quake off into the Bisharp, which is very good. Probably not going to Sash, or close. Not not quite to Sash, but close. But what does Bisharp do here? Does Bisharp go into the Sand Slash or into the Nine Tails? Iron, Iron Head into Nine Tails. Okay, so now the thing is, she, I have to get rid of that Blastoise, right? So, what's my play here? If she attacks, okay, I actually might live a Max Geyser at this point. I feel like I double Blastoise. I feel like I double Blastoise here. If I Quake Blastoise, is that even gonna do enough though? Um. I have to get rid of the Blastoise here, right? So I think I double the Blastoise. Let's Quake the Blastoise, and let's Freeze Dry the Blastoise. Yeah, that should hopefully get us at least one of them. Sucker Punch. All right, into Nine Tails. I didn't even, that's unfortunate because I didn't attack that slot, but that's just how it works. So Bisharp KOs uh, Nine Tails with Sucker Punch. Now let's see if we live this. We are plus one, but actually she's got the rain now, so we're not gonna live it. Yeah, Blastoise, KOs, Sand Slash with Max Geyser. Okay, um, not sure there's really a way out of this at this point. I do have Protect on Rhyperior. I don't think that I can make this work yet. Like at this point, I do not think I can pull this back. Um, so well played on her part, right? Like I thought I had the early game, but it, it just didn't work out. I will Protect here. And I am going to Trick Room and kind of hope for the best, I guess. So how could I have played that a little different, right? Like, um, I feel like I, I had the right idea. I just didn't get rid of the Blastoise, like, soon enough. That was the issue, is that Blastoise became, like, an issue. Because she Dynamaxed her, right? Like, she doesn't Dynamax, and I feel like we're okay. Maybe I just needed to double the Blastoise there. Like, if I had doubled the Blastoise. All right, so we're gonna protect. I don't think I'm living anyway. I don't know if it's gonna matter. I mean, this is Max Geyser going through rain, so I, I like highly doubt this is gonna matter. And she goes into Bronzong anyway, 
So she's gonna win the game. All right, so uh, Blastoise KOs Bronzong with uh, Geyser. Uh, we see Assurance on the Bisharp. Okay. And then uh, Rhyperior is just going down to Blastoise. Max Blastoise is a massive threat in this battle. Like, there's no doubt about it, right? Like, absolutely no doubt about it. So, I'll just play Earthquake, um, but she just Water Spouts. So, um, Blastoise, KOs, Rhyperior um, with Water Spout. Yeah, all she has to do is Water Spout. So, um, she's going to kind of wreck us here, win 3-0. Didn't get enough damage off on that Bisharp. Um, okay, so what am I adjusting here to deal with Blastoise Clefairy? Because that seems to be the biggest issue here is Blastoise Clefairy, right? Like, if I can stop that Blastoise from being annoying, then we can definitely do this. Here comes the Water Spout. That's going to seal the deal. Okay, we're going to game three. That's fine. All right, so Blastoise Clefairy is their lead. She already saw what I was going to do, right? Like, I went I went for the, the Ooze... Blizzard, which worked out very well, but then what do I do with that Blastoise? I almost feel like I have to do the same thing. Um, but she's obviously ready for that. So like, how would that situation have been different? Um, if I don't bring Trickery in the back, maybe. Um, I could also try to. Now my own Blastoise isn't gonna win this war here. Um, yeah, let's do this. Um, I'm, I am actually curious, like, if I, if I lead my own Blastoise, if I do that same first turn and lead my own Blastoise and Togekiss, which is the game I won, right? And I, and I Thunder Wave on turn one instead and cripple her Blastoise, but I'm going down to sing shenanigans, right? Like that's what it comes down to, but I feel like that's the play I'm gonna stick to our game one strategy to his blastoise. I'm gonna thunder wave the blastoise this time um, Last time I dazzling gleam, but if I can thunder wave it and that could put us in a decent spot Because then it, it's at least crippled and then from there I can start dazzling gleaming it And I'll be faster too so I could deal with it later. It's just we're gonna deal with sing, but I think as long as she misses that first thing, we're gonna be okay. Yeah, that's gonna be my strategy. That's gonna be what my strategy is. Yeah, I mean, I hate to play for like, hoping she doesn't hit a sing, but I mean, it's sing. It's like, it's just one of those crazy moves that like, you're gonna either hit or you're not, right? I mean, that Blastoise is the problem, dude. It's just a massive problem for my team. Um, and I knew it was going into it. So if I can take care of Blastoise, Rhyperior can win the game. Like everything on her team is really bad against Rhyperior. But I have to beat the Blastoise first. I almost wonder if I should have, like, led Togekiss. No. No, no, no. That's fine. All right. She's doing the same thing. All right. So she's, she's just going to ride the same strategy out here. She flipped the sides of them. Doesn't actually matter. All right. So I'm going to T-wave the Blastoise this time. We're going to try to Shell Smash here. They're both probably going to Shell Smash. I have to hope she misses the Sing is really what this comes down to. So we're going to T-wave the Blastoise, and I'm going to Shell Smash. That's going to be my play. Hopefully she misses the Sing or doesn't go for it at all. Um... So there's the shell smash. And basically, I just need to hit this T wave and then dodge a sing. I mean, if we can do that, it's 50%, right? So, or 55, whatever it is. Um, there's the white herb. And I thunder wave, I hit it. So we cripple the blastoise there in terms of that, which is very clutch. And now we're going to smash ourselves. And we put ourselves in a situation where, like, I'm now the fastest Blastoise, and I can knock out the Clefairy if I don't get put to sleep here. Don't, don't hit, don't hit this thing, please. Just don't hit it. <sighs> yeah, I mean, you just knew it was gonna happen, right? Like, it's pretty obvious, but... Okay, so not the end of the world, right? Not the end of the world. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Dazzling Gleam, and we're going to Dark Pulse the Blastoise. We just need to get rid of that Blast... I'm gonna need to wake up, but... Hopefully she gets fully paralyzed or something, man. Because this is going to be a problem otherwise. There's the helping hand. She's going for helping hand spout. I could use a full para right now. Super bad, right? I'm still sleeping, which we're going to get a turn of sleep no matter what. And she's going to get the spout off. I don't think Kiss is living this. No, that's really bad, dude. That's really bad. That's really bad. There's not a whole lot I can do either at this point. <sighs> dude. 
Alright, we're gonna go Zong. The problem is, if she Dynamaxes Blastoise, I kinda lose, right? Like, I need damage off on it. So, we're going to Trick Room. And we are going to Dark Pulse. The Blastoise, I need to wake up this turn. I need to wake up. She's gonna probably Helping Hand again. I need to wake up this turn. Wake up, Blastoise. You need to get this Dark Pulse off. Get paralyzed, please. Nope. That's game, dude. That's game. <sighs> GG, Sarah. Well played. Um, props to Sierra. She's gonna win that one. I'm gonna lose 4-0. I'm annoyed, but it is what it is, man. What are you gonna do? Um, you know, she played very well. She obviously had a very good core strategy she was going into this match with. And, uh... The unfortunate situation was I did originally have Fake Out on my Blastoise and I took it off at the end. There is still a way we can win this, but it's very unlikely at this point in time. Uh, we are going to Dynamax. We're going to Max Quake the Blastoise. Um, at this point, I need like multiple full paras in a row to have a chance, but uh, I don't even think there's that because she could just go for Sing and uh, hit a Sing and then that's it. So um, it is what it is, man. What are you going to do? Um, I am curious. What is Sing's accuracy? Is it 55? I mean, she hit two out of four, right? So, like, it is what it is. It's 55. So, she hit two out of four. I've hit Hypnosis. What are you going to do? Uh, she should be happy about how she played. She played well. Uh, I did what I could, unfortunately. Uh, Blastoise, I knew it was going to be a threat, dude. I really knew it was going to be a threat. She's going to help a hand. I need a full para, dude. Like, can I get one? Can I get one? No, that's game. <laughs> what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? GG's. I'll hit her with a GG, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Next week is going to be the final match of the season, and uh, it'll determine our fate for whether or not we're going to make playoffs. There is a way we can make playoffs if we lose next week, but it's going to be what it's going to be. Um, that was just an unfortunate match for us, man. I mean, what are you going to do? Maybe I should have went with the Sand Slash strategy again, but uh, it's all good, man. It's all good. So GG's to Sierra, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for supporting the Viking Volts, and I'll see you guys next weekend. Peace. If you guys enjoyed this video, you should definitely check out this one right here. Otherwise, I think this one's pretty awesome too. Check out one of those videos and have yourself an awesome day.